On the 8th of May 1945, the Allied powers formally accepted the unconditional surrender of the armed forces of Nazi Germany, marking the end of the Third Reich. Millions of people converged on the streets of the United Kingdom. In London, they thronged the city's streets and monuments as Winston Churchill made a radio broadcast announcing that war in Europe was finally at an end. In towns across the country, spontaneous street parties took place, bells were rung and many people went to church to give thanks to God for victory. Huge crowds gathered outside Buckingham Palace and cheered as the King, the Queen and the Princesses appeared a total of eight times on the balcony over the day. But the exuberance of the day was tempered by the fact that, for many, this was a time of sadness and reflection of those lost in the service of their country and for the civilian victims of war. And for some, the war would continue because their loved ones were still fighting in the Far East. We must remember that World War II did not end until the Japanese Empire surrendered to the Allies on the 15th of August 1945. So on this day, we commemorate the 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe Day. We give thanks for all who played their part in achieving victory in the Second World War. We remember with sorrow all those who were killed and whose lives were changed forever. Please bow your heads in prayer. Almighty God, grant, we beseech thee, that we who here do honour the memory of those who have died in the service of their country and of the crown, may be so inspired by the spirit of their love and fortitude, that forgetting all selfish and unworthy motives, we may live only to thy glory and to the service of mankind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray as illustrious men, our ancestors in their successive generations. The Lord has created an abundance of glory and displayed his greatness from earliest times. Here is a list of generous men whose good works have not been forgotten. In their descendants, there remains a rich inheritance born of them. Their offspring will last forever. Their glory will never fade. Their bodies are buried in peace and their names live on for all generations. The peoples will proclaim their wisdom. The assembly will celebrate their praises. This is the word of the Lord. Please bow your heads in prayer. The Prayer of St Ignatius. Teach us, good Lord, to serve thee as thou deservest, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to ask for any reward, save that of knowing that we do thy will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we join together in this military chapel of St. Michael and St. George to worship Almighty God, whose purposes are good, whose powers sustain the world that he has made, who loves us, though we have failed in his service who gave Jesus Christ for the life of the world, who by his Holy Spirit leads us in his way. As we give thanks for his great works, we remember those who have lived and died in his service and in the service of their country. For those who have suffered injury or want through war, for their families and loved ones, we ask for his help and blessing that we may do his will and that the whole world may acknowledge him as Lord and King. 
Let us pray. We offer our thanks to Almighty God, asking for his blessing, guidance and strength. For the Queen and her family, and all who serve under her, and bear responsibility of government or command. For all who serve the armed forces of the Crown, on the sea, under the sea, on the land and in the air. For those who have lost loved ones or suffered as a result of war. For doctors, nurses, chaplains, and all who minister to those in need or distress. For the unity of the people in the Commonwealth. And on this day we give thanks for the service and sacrifice of all duties who served in the Second World War. God, grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, Queen, Commonwealth and all mankind, peace and concord, and to all of us servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit remain with us always. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Either by death or life, 
Hear our prayers and thanksgiving for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the promise of your love, and bring us all with them to your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now lay wreaths on behalf of the school, the students, and the Duties Association. Please bow your heads as we ask for God's blessing. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest upon us and remain with us this day and always. Amen.